Ventura. And I want to, on behalf of the city, welcome you here to Ventura, if you're not a Ventura. And if you are, we welcome you here to this great event. Uh, we all know how important emergency preparedness is, and we can never be too prepared. So I want to thank Doss Williams, Assemblyman Doss Williams and his staff for putting this on and putting it on here. Uh, we really feel strongly in the city that we really need to be prepared. Uh, you know, we are in an area where there are earthquakes, there's uh, fires, there, there could be even a tsunami. So we have to really have a plan for our families. The reason we have these events is it's not a matter of if or when disasters will happen. Especially in California, we have earthquakes, fires, floods, and they do happen. Uh, the folks in Napa, uh, I, I'm good friends with the representative of, of uh, the legislator that represents Napa. And she can tell you, uh, they certainly got a reminder of that. Uh, and fortunately, we're just fortunate that there weren't casualties because that was a, a, a major quake. The agencies here, Red Cross, the fire department, the sheriff's office, uh, SoCal Gas, uh, city police have come together to help better prepare our community for disasters and emergencies. Um, urge you to consider getting some additional training. So there's great ways to do that here today. Uh, number one, um, this, this, this week I uh, learned hands-only CPR. That's one of the basic things that you can do. Um, you can go over and check it out. The fire department's doing a little bit of that right now. And, and at noon, the American Red Cross is going to do a, a hands-only CPR training. Um, and you can do more than that. Uh, become a CERT member. Uh, take a class at the Red Cross. Read up on preparedness online. We need to know that in a disaster, first responders are often overwhelmed. You know, the way that we deal with large disasters in this state is by a, a system called mutual aid. And that means we call in uh, either uh, public safety pers personnel uh, or others from across the state. But that means in the opening hours of any emergency, um, we can have too few people for the, for the task at hand, even though they do an incredible job. So you having knowledge is vital. And it's sometimes knowledge about basic things, like don't turn on your sprinklers in the case of a fire. One of our major fires in Santa Barbara County, everybody turned on their sprinklers, right? Just some people think, well, that's one of the things to do. Well, we had to send in firefighters and water district personnel to shut off all those sprinklers in order to have enough water pressure to fight the fire. So those are some basic things uh, that people can learn uh, from the mistakes of the past about how to better be equipped in the future. Um, it's really important. The other one is to have emergency uh, kit including water. A lot of these emergencies can cause a temporary shutoff of water. Um, uh, batteries, flashlight, important documents. Um, and you know, if you're gonna store food, don't forget having a can opener. A lot of people forget that. It's not very easy to open a can with a rock, believe me, I've tried. Um, if you already have a kit, be sure to check it regularly for expiration dates, particularly on any medication in that kit. Uh, and on food, and if you're gonna dispose of them, dispose of them at the police department, not down the toilet. Old drugs are sometimes the, one of the leading causes of local teens um, uh, ending up in the hospital. So dispose of those drugs properly. Hope you're able to leave with the information you need to protect your family. So before you leave today, uh, you know, coming by here is great, but um, you're not done until you feel real confident that you have some of the basic information uh, to share with your family and friends in case of emergency.